Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob here again to bring you another video in our new series of SpyBot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be downloading and installing your SpyBot Plus antivirus license as a new user. I'm here set up on a Windows 10 64 bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, so the first step of this tutorial is to go to the email account that you used when you made a purchase of SpyBot Plus antivirus. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using a Gmail account, which I have previously opened in Microsoft Edge. So please go to the email account that you used when you made your purchase of SpyBot Plus antivirus. I'm going to click on Microsoft Edge, which will bring me to my inbox in Gmail. And there in your inbox, you should see an email from no reply at spybot.info with the subject download details for SpyBot 2 Home Edition or whatever edition it is that you may have purchased. In this example, it is the Home Edition. If you do not see this email, please check your junk or spam folder as sometimes the email may end up here. So if we then click into the email that says download details for SpyBot 2 Home Edition, you should see thank you for your payment of SpyBot 2 Home Edition. This email contains the download details for your registered licensed version. You can download the installer by clicking on the following web address. This is the link that we will use to download the SpyBot Plus AV license installer. So if we then double click on the link to download the SpyBot 2 license installer, a blank page should open up in your browser. Your browser should then ask you, what do you want to do with SpyBot 2 license.exe? which is the SpyBot2 license installer file, which is the file that we will use to install the SpyBot Plus antivirus license. So if we then click on save, the file should begin downloading and it should be completed within a few seconds. Once the file is finished downloading, we can then run the file to launch the SpyBot2 license installer. We then see a prompt from the user account control asking us whether or not we would like to launch the SpyBot license installer, to which we will click yes. I'm going to minimize my browser while the installer launches. We then see the select setup language window. This window is asking us which language we would like to use during the installation of SpyBot. The installer comes with the following language options, German, English, French, Italian, and Russian. We're going to select English and click OK to begin the setup wizard. The next window we see is the welcome window, which says welcome to the SpyBot search and destroy setup wizard. This will install license files for SpyBot search and destroy on your computer. This window also lists the edition of the SpyBot license that is being installed. In this case it is a home edition. It will also list the licensee, which should display the name given when you made your purchase of SpyBot plus antivirus, as well as the amount of PCs you are allowed to use with your SpyBot license. And it also lists the expiry date of your license. Each SpyBot license is active for one year. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the select destination location window. This window is asking where you would like to install SpyBot on your computer. If you would like to install SpyBot in another location other than the default location listed, you can click browse and choose the desired location, but we recommend sticking to the default location, which is the program files folder on your C drive. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the installation check window. This window is checking to see whether or not there is a current installation of SpyBot already installed on your PC. If you see the blank grey page as shown in the video, this indicates that a current installation has not been detected and that SpyBot needs to be downloaded onto your PC. Click next to continue with the setup. Now the installer is downloading the SpyBot 2.4 exe file, which will be used to install the SpyBot program. Please wait a couple of seconds for the download to complete. Now that the file is downloaded, we can see that SpyBot is currently being installed on your PC. The installer is currently extracting files into the SpyBot program files folder on your C drive and it will soon begin configuring SpyBot. Please wait a couple of minutes for the installation and configuration of SpyBot to complete.
We now see that the SpyBot Search and Destroy Start Center icon has appeared on your desktop and that the installer is currently installing system services. Again, please wait a few minutes for the installer to finish configuring SpyBot. And we then see a pop-up from the SpyBot Search and Destroy tray asking, Do you need help? SpyBot can show you informational confirming dialogues which offer details and background. Do you want SpyBot to show these dialogues? You can change your decision at any time using SpyBot settings. For now we are going to click yes. As we can see the installer is still configuring SpyBot and it is currently scheduling updates. We then see a window asking us if we would like to install Live Protection. Live Protection is SpyBot's form of real-time protection which runs in the background and stops malware from being executed. If you would like to install Live Protection, please select Yes. If you have another security program currently using real-time protection, it is advised to leave Live Protection disabled or to disable your other form of antivirus protection, as running two forms of real-time protection can cause harm to your PC. We are going to select Yes and install Live Protection. We then see the final window of the Setup Wizard which says the setup has finished installing SpyBot Search and Destroy on your computer. Click Finish to exit the setup. Once we click on Finish, we can see that the SpyBot update window has opened. SpyBot is currently downloading the latest antivirus and anti-spyware signatures. We also see that the Start Center has opened up, which is the home of all things SpyBot. We can see in the top left hand corner that it says SpyBot plus antivirus, and underneath it says the Home Edition. If we click on to where it says Home Edition, you can see the License Overview feature, and we see in the License for Private Users that we are listed as a home user. You can also click on the Your License tab which will show you more information about the currently installed license. We can see that it says Home Edition. This will show you the name you have registered to your license. In this case it is blank that we are registered for one PC. This shows you the date that you purchased your license and also when your license is set to expire. In the license overview page you will also see a link to the Home Edition email support. This button will bring you to the contact form in the request support page based on the particular version of SpyBot that you currently have installed. When you click the link, it should open up the request support page in a new window in your browser. If you ever have any comments or queries relating to SpyBot Plus Antivirus, you can use this link to send us an email for any queries that you may have. So that's it for today's video on how to download and install your SpyBot Plus Antivirus license as a new user. So thanks very much for watching today's video on how to download and install your license for SpyBot Plus Antivirus. I've been Rob from Team SpyBot at Safer Networking. I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe or leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch with us by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. So thanks very much again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching and keep on destroying. See you guys soon.